hello everyone so this is what we are going to work on today so when we are moving in the space we can uh, use mouse to control the direction where the ship is moving now as you can see here when I look around the scene with the mouse the ship is looking at that direction so if I look up we will be moving upwards and if i look down we will be moving downwards in the relative space and if i turn this side now the ship is looking at that side so since there are not much of a, not many objects in the space you may not see the movement clearly but here you can see if i if, when i see the space when i see the planet on the side you can see we are moving so we can speed up with w and we can slow down with s so yeah this is what we are going to do today before we get started i'd like to remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel once you become a member in the Patreon page. To the date, there are 1700 videos. For each video, you can access project files without a limit once you get the membership. So feel free to check it out. Link would be in the description below. And let's get back to today's tutorial. Okay, so this is as of the end of last episode. So now here, if I play the game, uh, we are starting from the player character. Let me possess the ship so we can start with the ship and just to make it more look better I'll set the initial to rotation to closed now when we start now you see I can look around but if I press W the ship is moving forward and S backwards but it doesn't uh, turn into the direction that I'm looking at so we have to manually use Q and E to turn and there is no way as of now to change the pitch of the ship so move downward I, but I can use shift to move upward without looking up and control to move downward without looking down but it's just move down and up in place or not like point the nose downward or upward and climb up that's not the way it's working for now but with mouse controls we would be able to do that okay so to get started let me open up the ship now so here initially in the begin play we call this check gravity field and we set this use planet gravity if we are under the planet gravity and if not we set it to false now i'm going to use this because the mouse controlled flight behavior initially i'm going to implement it only for space travel so not when we are on the surface of the planet here we have in the tick in the tick we have this align actor let me open that up so for now we are aligning with the up vector so and i'm using actor forward vector as the x to calculate rotation now instead of calculating it that way we can use this method here I'll do a select and if we are under planet gravity use planet gravity we will be using this rotation otherwise I will use the rotation of this forward point uh, it's here so for now let me change the color so that it is easier for us to testing and move it maybe 3000 not enough 5000 right 
right here about 8000 so that should be clear enough and I'll remove this hidden in game so now we can see that point um, why can't I see that now it's too small let me make it to one okay so still no yeah actually it's there but we don't see it because we are not updating its rotation so for the character we were doing this update before so now let me do that here regardless of this input so here what it does is we update this fw root so that red box will always be in front of us see here when i look around it updates in the opposite direction of the camera so but it only re it remains in the z axis so we will fix that so now what i am planning to do is i'm gonna get the rotation of that object to drive the angle of the shape here in the update camera by the way we worked on this function initially when we work on our character uh, to align it with the moment align it with the direction that we are looking at when the character moves so but here we only used a set component of the rotation or your part only because we needed to keep the character always aligned to the gravity vector or vector but here that is not the case so i will connect this pitch also like this now we should be able to look oh i still know why oh okay here we need to connect okay see now the ship is looking at the direction that I'm looking through the camera maybe we need to increase the camera boom length yeah because this is clear okay now you can see we are looking through the uh, the ship is turning into the direction where we look from the camera but this feels like a toy now uh, it doesn't have any weight so now what I'm planning to do is only when the ship is moving it should turn into the direction we are looking at so for that here not the input let's keep this branch let's get velocity and get length and if this is larger than zero let's turn now see now we are looking the other way but the ship is not moving but if i press w to move now the ship is moving but still i think it's too fast the turning So maybe we will make in this interpolation a speed one so it would be much slower yeah that's better and we are moving but the moment is not clear and if I uh, moment is not clear because we don't have any reference points so what we can do what can we do here I have some boxes so that we can see the ship is moving okay now once I release W the ship stops moving and the rotation also stops all right so I'm gonna stop this episode right here now in the next episode we are going to look into uh, when we enter the gravity field that should be changed back to the previous moment mode that we had so the ship should be aligned to the surface of the planet and 
we will do some refinement to that as well and also I am going to add main engines in the next episode that means these thrusters these four thrusters they are more mainly the purpose of them are mainly for um, close range maneuvering and hovering over planets but these engines they are designed they are mainly for the space travel so when we are in the space the moment should be powered by these so i'm gonna work on those things also in the next episode so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye